Hello and welcome to Red Men TV. Steve. Hello, Chris. Two all draw. West Ham. What did you think of that, mate? Yeah, it's really, really disappointing, isn't it? Um, especially when you go ahead after five minutes, you're thinking this could be four, five, six again, like we've done at Anfield. Most most games we put teams away, haven't we? And we just give them two goals. Absolute diabolical. The first one, our goalie might have been sitting next to me in the centre. What was he doing? I was thinking he's going to move soon. He's going to. Oh no, no, never mind. Okay. And then the second goal, I mean. From my view, Matip makes a you know, bit of a mess of it. The goalie looks like he makes a mess of it again. And all of a sudden, it's 2-1 out of nowhere because they're shit. They know they're shit. They're, everyone knows they're shit. Um, and then especially second half, Ari uh, gets the goal early and I'm thinking, right, go again, go again. Yeah, we, 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 and we were. Um, second half, we were much better. We were really, really good, I thought, without ever really creating that one clear chance where you think, really, really should have scored. We had one with, you know, he's falling to Nathaniel Klein who can't shoot. Um, I thought Manny was good. Thought if it, you know, don't want to be all negative. You know, Manny, I thought had a really good game, but the rest of it was just like it was sloppy. It wasn't as crisp. I don't know if missing Coutinho, you, but you can't just take one player out of your team and think right, that's it. One of, one of the things that when we're missing Coutinho, we're taking our other best player, Firmino, and putting him out of position. It's not helping them. Well, I, I said at half time, um, I'd take Origi off and put Firmino up front, and then Origi scored after like a minute, which made me look like a bit of a pleb. But then from from then on, I did think. All right, lads. I did think, <laughs> I, I, I was thinking I'd, I'd take him off or put him on the wing, put Origi left and put Firmino up front. I agree, he's our best player right now. Him and Manny are our best two players. I think if you can get them two closer together, you've got a chance. But it, it just wasn't to be. And like, in the end, I say, I, th I, I thought they were going to score when that ball came across the carrel. I really thought, oh, that's going to put the ice. And to be fair, Props to the keeper. Well, Caddy's come and done well. He really did because, you know, Carroll's a, a nightmare to deal with. But... It, again, on on another weekend when you know other, other teams around us, obviously City drop points, but Arsenal went and won, uh, Chelsea went and won a tough game, and then we go and draw our home to West Ham in a game we really should win. And then you look at our next two fixtures, Borough away won't be easy, and then we've got a derby, which is a, I know everything a garbage at the minute, but it's a derby. So all of a sudden they're making that gap a little bit bigger, and we're not out of it. We're you know, for one minute we're not out of it because we're not. And I don't want people saying you know Liverpool can't win the league. They still they might not, but they, in fact they probably won't, but they can. But you can't draw it on West Ham anymore. You've got you you if you, 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 can, you can't give you, you can't give the opposition two goals. And honestly, I'm I'm not a big Mignolet fan, but the manager's got a decision to make now. Because this this fella keeps you know stop saving the ball. Everything else about him is great. His kicking's good. I thought he's better at crosses. It's got to be the fundamentals though, as a keeper, isn't it? Save the ball. You can't you can't give the other, you, we can't just keep giving the other team goals. When we're without our, you know, without two of our better strikers, Sturridge and Coutinho, two of our better forwards. Sorry, we're not going to score sixes and sevens without, you know, at this when you're playing this many games with injuries, with knocks. You look at the bench, Chris, and it's three kids. And I'm thinking, who's, what's the sub we can make here? It's Ajari or Woodburn, and I like them both good young players, but I can see why a manager wouldn't want to put them on at the moment. So it's just. You can't. You, I keep saying it. Individual mistakes. We, we, we you, you can't legislate for them. It's got to improve. It's got. If we want to win this league, we can, we've got to cut that out. Well said, mate. Well said.